So when we started, I had around 50 and 70 FPS. Let me show you how much I have now. Wow. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I will show you the best sodium settings for Minecraft 1.20. Let's get right into this. So if you, in case you don't have sodium installed, uh, you can check my video description and uh, there's a link to the sodium video. In case I forget about that, you just uh, simply go to my uh, YouTube channel and you will find the video. So let's start. Uh, open up the Minecraft launcher, please. And uh, first thing first, we need to adjust the RAM. So, so you this will uh, give you additional FPS. So installations, new installation, name one to twenty. Uh, yes, like the snapshot. Yes, I use the snapshot right now because it's the best for me. But uh, you just use 1.20. It, it's no, not the difference. So, GVM arguments. Okay, so let me change this to ADG. Uh, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, so uh, I use AG, which is a 50% of my capacity of RAM, and uh, that's what you will do. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, use 4G. If you have 4 GB of RAM, use 2G. And if you have 2 GB of RAM, use 1G. I hope you get me, okay? So 16 GB of RAM, 8 G, that's my case. I used it. So do the RAM application, please. And uh, let's use Fabric Loader 1.20 and hit play. Because on that Fabric Loader, we have Sodium mode. So. Hit play please, like I did, and let's just wait for the Minecraft to load up, and uh, we'll continue from there. Uh, it may take a while, but uh, after a couple of seconds you are in, so it's nothing horrible. So, finally, <coughs> we are in here. So you can see Minecraft 1.20, go to the single player and go to your world. It doesn't matter if it's the world uh, that you use or a new world, uh, it's basically for the wall game okay so we are in here go to the es uh, hit escape please yeah but before before i show you the settings uh let me show you how much fps i have right now so it's around 49 43 and 70 50 and let's continue okay so escape again options video settings so render distance and simulation distance so i always do this Render distance on 10 and simulation on 8. That's the best for me. Brightness, oh, you can leave it on 100. Uh, the full screen, yes, uh, you should definitely use full screen. It, it will save some FPS, so do that. VSync, uh, it's not good for me, so I won't enable it. Uh, but you, you can enable it. It won't uh, take FPS from you, so maybe it's the best for you. You should check it out yourself frame rate max because it doesn't matter bobbing okay so let me show you what does the bobbing do okay so check the animation so if we if we have turned on the bobbing look at the, at the hand how it's shaking okay and if i turn it off look on the animation now it's not shaking it's it's really the weird and I wouldn't play Minecraft like this. So definitely let it on. Autosave indicator on and uh, the most important part now, okay? Graphics, let's leave it on fast. Turn on the clouds, the weather fast. This quality fast again, okay? Please do that. Particles, uh, you can try if decreased are good for you but the minimal is the best for the best fps but the decreased you have better quality so i personally leave it on decreased smooth lighting uh, turn it off bion blank bion blend zero entity distance you can leave it on 100 and you can also leave uh, on the entity shadows a vignette uh, i would uh, disable it the mid-map levels uh, also disable it to zero, please. And let's move to performance tab. So you don't have to actually do anything in here because it won't give you uh, lots of FPS. You can just 
uh, uh, disable this because as you can see the performance impact is high so uh, disable this if you have a really low 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 end pc okay advanced and uh, the cpu and renderer uh, you can just use free or for two but uh, i'll use free okay a async that's the best for me uh, this is something you need to do your on your own okay so just uh, play with these settings and you'll see hit apply and let's try these settings how much fps i have now so when we started i had around 50 and 70 fps so let me show you how much i have now wow so i have around 300 fps right now which is really good so Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.